What's up my foundation friends? I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I'm going to review a foundation that everybody raves about. This foundation is probably the best foundation for oily skin according to everybody on YouTube. So I have it here today to show you the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I've watched probably 100,000 videos and anytime a girl has oily skin, they always claim that this is their favorite high-end foundation. So I'm going to be putting it to the test today. I have tried a sample of this before and I wasn't like crazy about it. It was cool, but a young philosopher by the name of Aaliyah once said, if at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again, try again try again. So I actually went out and bought the foundation. We're going to be trying it out of the real bottle, getting a full experience, and I'm going to see how long this foundation actually lasts. Now the message and claim on the packaging is actually claiming to do a lot. So it says this is the double wear stay in place makeup for all skin types, not just oily, not just dry. It's supposed to be for everybody. 15 hour staying power. That's a long time to claim. It says it's going to look fresh and flawless through the heat, which is good for the summer. Humidity, good for my Florida trip coming up. Non-stop activity. I will be running errands today, so we will be doing some non-stop activities. Won't change color, which is great because sometimes foundations will oxidize and you're one color in the daytime and a different color by night. It won't smudge or come off on clothes. That's, these are some big claims. This is. It's basically saying this foundation is perfect. You won't believe how long it wears. I don't believe it. That's why I'm making this video. I actually bought this from Sephora this morning. How much did I pay for this? This is the wrong Sephora. I really went from never going to Sephora to going every week because of you guys. Uh, the total, oh, that can't be right. Oh, I, I did buy some other things. All right, it was $39.50 plus tax. So basically it's a $40 foundation. But since everybody swears by it, I got it, okay? I just really hope it's amazing. So the double wear comes in this blue little box. I am the color FW1 bronze. And there's actually 38 colors to choose from. I love the amount of shade range that this foundation has. And it does have a lot of different colors for darker skin tones as well. So. Kudos to you, Estee Lauder. And it comes in this beautiful chic bottle. I love the gold top. It just looks very elegant and regal, but this also does have that kind of sheer matte over it. So you can't see the true color of the foundation just from looking at it. You are gonna have to open it and kind of do a little blot test. But since this is a high-end foundation, it's good that you can go in and actually just get color match at Sephora, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's, Neiman Marcus, all those fancy high-end places should have this brand. It does have a twist cap on it. I would have preferred a pump, but as long as it works, I'll be fine. So this is a sneak peek of how the foundation went on, but let me show you exactly how I applied it. Starting off on a moisturized face, I'm now gonna apply my primer first. I am gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer only because I've used this in all my other foundation videos. Even though I have found better primers, but just to be fair, I'm gonna keep it consistent. So I highly recommend you follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. That way I could show you how much better all my foundations are working with new primers because there's no way I could do a video with every primer, with every foundation. Like that's just insane. Now I am gonna be using a beauty blender to apply this because that's just what I like to do. Like so. There is my full face of foundation. I think it looks really good. I'm definitely happy with the color match. I think it looks really natural. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey, and it gives you some really good coverage, but not like extreme full coverage, but a good amount of coverage. So now I'm gonna finish my hair and makeup. If only life were really that easy. 
So it's currently 1 p.m. I'll be back in a couple hours and we'll see how long this foundation really lasts. And we're back. It is now 11 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of 10 hours. Didn't make it to 15 or 24, but still a very long time of me going out and about and running errands. So first impression, I think it looks pretty good. It's probably better than even the first time that I tried it. I'm actually really liking the results. I am a little shiny because of my oily skin and because it kind of like raised the makeup up, it is transferring but i will say when i first put on the foundation i do think it was very like a dry matte finish that wouldn't have transferred on any type of clothing so at this point i am going to blot with my oil absorbing sheets these are by walgreens there's a million other different brands but this is what i do in all of my foundation friday videos so let's see how much comes off <laughs> So here you go. Honestly, not a lot of oil came off. I mean, I did move it around so that it did kind of take up the whole sheet, but this is not a lot of oil and there's barely any makeup on here. So that's always a good sign when only the oil comes off on the sheets like it's supposed to and not the makeup. So now that I blotted, it looks really good. Now, would I say that the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is the best high-end foundation for oily skin? Possibly. I mean, I can't really say that yet because I've only tried three high-end foundations thus far. So my spectrum's kind of low right now, but I will say this is my favorite one thus far and it's gonna be pretty hard to beat. I'm definitely happy that I gave the Estee Lauder Double Wear a second chance. I think it looks great. It did a very good job for my very oily skin. And I will continue to be using this. I'm actually really excited to try this with my even better working primers. So if you guys want to see me use this on top of a better primer, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. So I can give you guys updates on all the foundations that I reviewed and how they work with different foundations, different setting powders, all that stuff that could make a difference. So if you've tried the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation as well and love it or hate it, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts and also let me know what foundation you want me to review next. Before you go, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos every Sunday. So I hope that you, yes you, push that subscribe button and come back next week. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.